This is Jacob with Cultivate Hydroponic Supply and CultivateColorado.com. Today we are talking about transplant additives and other things you can put in for your transplant. Before we get into this video, be sure to subscribe and click the like button below if you enjoy this video. Let's roll. So when we're going over the how-to when you're putting in your transplant additives, there's a couple different things to know. The main thing that people do when they're transplanting is add mycorrhiza. We have three different kinds up here. We have a wettable powder by Extreme Gardening, a granular by Extreme Gardening, and another wettable powder by Myco Jordan. These are all additives that you would put directly on the root zone or directly into your transplant hole. So you really build a nice bacteria in your root zone and it helps your roots flourish into the remaining soil as well as build a healthy root zone going forward. Also a couple different things you could add. If you're transplanting, we always like this product Recharge. It's a ton of different bacteria. It's not gonna necessarily help directly with the root growth as fast as the mycorrhiza, but over time, this is gonna build colonies inside your soil and help promote really healthy roots into the future. Another product I really like is this Azos. This is a unique product. It's a nitrogen fixing bacteria. So what basically it does when you transplant, it's gonna make sure it's absorbing all the nitrogen and all of the liquid nutrients or other nutrients you're putting into the soil so it can really shoot to the sky and really get you set up when you wanna go into flower. All right guys, thanks for checking in. That was our transplant additives video. Make sure you rate, like, and subscribe to the link below so you can get more great videos like this going into the future. And of course, if you always have questions, make sure to give the shop a call. We can answer anything you need. See you next time.